Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Elon Musk has a vision of worldwide low-cost broadband. Teamster pilots with Allegiant Air authorize a strike, and Robinson Helicopters updates avionics and autopilot options on their R66. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm Ashley Hale. SpaceX founder Elon Musk has a vision that everyone on the planet should have access to the internet and he recently revealed some details of his previously announced plan to the media. The system would involve hundreds of low-cost satellites in an orbit of about 750 miles above the Earth. For basis of comparison, most geosynchronous satellites fly at about 22,300 miles above the Earth. Musk explained that with the relay satellites closer to the ground, communication speeds would be much faster. He says that the throughput speeds could rival that of terrestrial fiber optic connections. The new project would be operated from the company's new Seattle offices. Musk estimates the price tag of the program to be around $10 billion, but he says the program will be a long-term revenue source that will allow SpaceX to fund a city on Mars. And to make the whole project even more interesting, it's just been reported that SpaceX has secured a billion dollars worth of funding from two new investors, Google and Fidelity. Pilots at Allegiant Air, represented by the Airline Professionals Association, known as the APA, Teamsters Local 1224, voted overwhelmingly to authorize a strike against Allegiant Air. APA's Daniel Wells said, quote, This does not mean that a strike is going to happen tomorrow or even next week. It does, however, mean that the situation is fluid. If Allegiant continues to stonewall in negotiations, and continues to disregard the federal court's injunctions, ordering it to restore the pilot's work rules, then a pilot strike at Allegiant Air will be very realistic." End quote. The union intends to move forward by seeking a proffer from the National Mediation Board under the Railway Labor Act's dispute provisions. Once this has been completed, or if an agreement has not been reached, the pilots would be free to conduct a legal strike in the near future. It's reported the pilots have been in negotiations with Allegiant Air for two years, with little to no progress. After the break, Garmin and autopilot upgrades added to the Robinson R66. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro standby instrument. TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com Welcome back. If you'd like to suggest a story for Airborne Unlimited, send an email to news by at aero-news.net. Robinson Helicopter Company announced the Garmin G500H avionics display system and the Genesis Aerosystems HeliSAS Autopilot are now available as options on the new 2014 R66 turbine helicopter. The G500H is a combination primary flight display and multifunction display that provides flight instrument, moving map navigation, and situational awareness information on dual screens. Garmin's helicopter synthetic vision and terrain graphics are available, 
and either Garmin flight charts or Jeppesen chart view instrument charts are also an option. The Helisass Autopilot functions as a stability augmentation system by applying corrective inputs to the cyclic in order to maintain fixed pitch and roll attitude. Only light force on the cyclic is required to override or fly through the system. It can be left engaged continuously while still allowing the pilot to maneuver comfortably. Additional autopilot modes are heading hold, altitude hold, navigation signal tracking, and approach navigation. The autopilot does not provide any collective or pedal inputs. With 2,000 Aero TV programs webcast to cyberspace, it's fun to look back and enjoy the places we've seen, the pilots we've met, and the planes we've flown. Here's a look at one of our favorite Aero TV classic episodes. Well, it certainly is a great aircraft, and it definitely turns a lot of heads no matter where we go, and flying this is a whole lot of fun. In this video, we visit the Cold War Air Museum and take a look at the Soviet-produced 26,000 pounds of Heli Beast. Search 26,000 pounds of Heli Beast on Aero TV's news channel. After these messages, 200,000 traps for one carrier sets a record. The KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. A lot of arresting cables have been stretched and rubber left on the deck as the aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt recorded its 200,000th arrested landing. This record event occurred as the carrier is in her 28th year of fleet operation. The first hearing of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee in the 114th Congress will focus on FAA reauthorization and reforming and streamlining the regulatory certification processes. The FAA is way behind the European Union on aircraft certification reform. The EAA has listed a preliminary list of airshow performers to be featured at AirVenture 2015. The list includes some great performers from past AirVenture shows and a few that are new to the Oshkosh scene. There's something for everyone. An FAA inspector was arrested at LaGuardia Airport when a loaded handgun was found in his carry-on bag. The rule allowing FAA employees to skip security checkpoints has now been suspended by the agency. The TSA is investigating the incident. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's move on to the rest of the news. For the first time in more than 20 years, the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum has lowered Charles Lindbergh's Ryan NYP Spirit of St. Louis to the floor. The famous aircraft will remain on the floor at eye level for all visitors to see for approximately five months while it undergoes preservation work before being suspended once again. This is a unique opportunity to see the Spirit of St. Louis from a different perspective, since it hasn't been lowered to the gallery floor since 1992. Visitors will also be able to observe the museum's conservation staff while they clean and preserve the historic aircraft. Chief Conservator at the museum, Malcolm Collum, said, quote, This is a rare chance for us to get a close-up look at the plane and to give it a thorough preservation treatment that will last decades into the future, end quote. Well, that's our program for Wednesday, January 21st. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. 
Join us every weekday for a new episode of Airborne Unlimited, along with our growing roster of well over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations. I'm Ashley Hale. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.